If the players were listening to Coach Cole's pre-match set-piece talk, they'll do three things here. Dan Gallagher will block Tony Craig's marker, Cooley will hit the back post, and Craig will put it back across for Jason Pryor. Oh, there's a fourth thing. Jason will need to put it in the back of the net. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, second ball! Three days on from the drab defeat at home to Maidenhead, Mark is once again convening the players at his office, this time ahead of the visit of South End. And with Mark serving one more stadium ban, he's keen to get both the players and his coaching team into a good headspace. I've got a big check up at the hospital tomorrow, MIT. Have ya? My granddad done that. <laughs> I think there's a big part of just enjoying tonight, do you know what I mean? Just like massively getting on with it. Big message, which I know, Ross, you put on the thing of the play forward message at all times, yeah? We've got to get a sweet spot with minimal information. Yeah. Or, or we'll just start it and all get disjointed. And what, you, what I notice in this league is like, if you get a bit disjointed for two minutes, you can make another team look like Brazil. Management team look like they've had a battering from me and not sure they're not sure they're going to recover in time. Really, it's a bit like a bloke who gets knocked out and you know he's waiting for the bell to go. They look a little bit shell shocked. They'll have to be good tonight. They'll have to fucking not be shell shocked or they won't be in the dugout Saturday. I mean, I'll literally put one of my friends in there, manager friends. I won't fuck about. Have you told them what you want from them? Have you made it clear to them? Yeah, the instructions are really, really clear, but I try and get a sweet spot between taking a lot of pressure off them and saying, I'm leaving it to you lot, because I've, I've got to take away the anxiety. I can tell that they're, they're really anxious. I think Ross is fucking anxious. Um, but that's because the fucking stakes are high at Dawkins Wanderers. We know that. We're not a fucking yo-yo team. We're not a, we've got big fucking reputation to uphold. They've lost their first two. Um, but no, I think, um, hopefully for their sake and, and mine, because I haven't slept in fucking days because of my barnet, they... Um, Hopefully they, uh, they get a win and they'll go back and what a great learning curve that'll be for them. Because they'll, the, probably the real consolidation of the learns will be when they get a win and they go, fuck me, yeah, if I think about how I was tonight versus the other day. And, so there's a few dots for them to do, but yeah, that's where we are, mate. Come on, mate. You got a tone? Good, you? Yes, my son. Good, mate. Where's Big Bad Baz? Come on, my son. Where's Jason? He needs to be here. Right, boys, I ain't slept in six days and I've planned tonight as the day that I sleep. Right, lads, listen. I couldn't give a fuck about Saturday. All I give a fuck about, just gone. Honestly, all I give a fuck about is tonight, boys, okay? 100%. That's all I give a fuck about. Do not fucking let me down tonight. Do not fucking let me down. If all else fucking fails, you fucking strangle them, you press them, you fucking put it on them, whatever you need to do, your unbelievable side, don't give other sides an opportunity by having a fucking night where you're fucking slow or anything. I know you won't, to be fair. You absolutely know that you ain't ever going to chip in another fucking situation like that. And if you make it looks like it's going to, go over and whack the and say, we ain't fucking having a slow night. Get the ball forward, OK, yeah? No fucking about tonight. It's really important, OK? Macca, this would be you here. Sorry, this would be you here, Mac. And the idea is, if they do give it to this bloke, the idea is you do it, but cut off, you cut off that Miley fella, yeah? That's what you do. If these get loose in the game, really loose, you can make the decision, you're all fucking good, as to whether or not, Ross calls it jump, I quite like that saying, okay, yeah. You can make the decision as to whether or not you commit your spare man and you jump the bloke and you just do this. Your choice. You can erase Saturday in fucking two minutes with a fast start and that's what I want you to do. All right, boys? Good luck. Get me a win. I ain't slept in fucking days. in their opening two games has given the South End fans hope that they have a future in the National League. And yet their ongoing issues with owner Ron Martin mean that they've come to Meadowbank with a young squad and the likelihood of a points deduction. It's a strange place for the supporters to be in great form, but fearing for the club's very existence. What's actually going on at South End United at the moment? <laughs> How long have you got? I didn't even expect to start at one point in the summer. Everyone, this has been the most traumatic summer for all the South End supporters. Well, as you know, the club is up for sale. Ron Martin allegedly is trying to sell the club. 
Uh, but things have gone very quiet at the moment, so we don't really know what is uh, happening. He's got until next Wednesday to pay the HMRC debt. Hopefully the old owner will sell up and uh, hopefully there's a new owner in place. If he doesn't, you know, the club could go in administration, 10 points deduction, who knows. There's still a transfer until that debt is cleared next Wednesday, there is still a transfer embargo from the National League. Yeah, it's been going on for far too long and, and the squad is thin. Uh, and without that being lifted, um, they're going to struggle. Yeah, transfer embargo, we've been under that for over a year now. Um, and it's all down to one man, and I don't know whether you want me to, but I'm, no, yeah, go, just, if you ask any of these South End supporters, there was a bit of a divide, probably about two years ago, some people still supported him, in a way, mm -hmm. but this has been going on for years now, and everyone's together now, and we, he's got to go, he's got to go. Without new owners, this squad's not big enough, it, it's not going to do it. You know, he's got to remember, this club was built by the supporters, and he's wangled it all away, and... There's nothing left. There is nothing left. All that's left is the name. The problem is now playing two games in so many days with the squad numbers we've got. Um, players could be tired, who knows? But uh, I think they've got the confidence, so you expect them to do well. But if we play like we played in the first two games, yeah. we will win. We will win. Right, boys, second corner's OK. So, a little bit different today. Uh, Maka Bob, you'll be taking for me. Dan, you'll be in the, uh, in the fourth, but you'll be blocking, okay? So you're, you're the blocker for me. So whatever the signal is, we make sure Dan's near the blocker, obviously, to help and block, yeah? But I want everything today in the box. Nothing short, in the box, all right? We have got a lot of height on them. They're not a big side. So we're going to put all our big lads up there and win what we can, win the first contact, and then we go and win the second one, okay? So JP, you'll always be going around the back for me. If we're looking at back post and JP's going, Bob, you'll be taking any second contacts we're gambling in all the time, all right? They are, last season they were really organised with defending corners and defending set pieces. I think they conceded two goals from defending corners last year. All right, they're not the biggest, but they're fucking organised. So our movement must be good and must be clever. Get together, be hard to mark, use the blocker well like we did at Chesterfield, and I promise you, mate, there'll be openings there for you to take your chances to score. You do, boys, listen, if you just make your movement clever, there will definitely be opportunities for you to score goals from set pieces today. All right? All good, understanding? Yep. Please check through any questions, do let me know. Let's go. Now. Oh, boys, boys. Out now. I don't know how you do it, mate. I don't know how you do it, mate. And fucking it yeah, you know I mean? it's just madness. Like fair play. Like, is the light at the end of the tunnel? Is it going to be? We'll keep hearing there is, but until it fucking happens. Yeah, you know yeah. yeah. He's got a tax bill next Wednesday. Is that when it is? In court again, yeah. He's got to do uh, pay it or yeah. sell the club or you know what I mean? Yeah. Or we'll get a ten point penalty, which will fuck us. You know what I mean? Yeah, fucking hell. Absolutely fucking kill us. Huh? Are you ready? Get, get a set piece against these, mate. We'll get a set piece against these. Hope so, mate. The Wanderers coaches are doing their best to adhere to the new rules around keeping the benches tidy. Unfortunately, Dino's drink box loophole is now under threat. You can't sit with the box anymore. Because you've got the two up, haven't you? Yeah, so yeah. under new protocols, so you can't sit with the box. He's got to be sitting down, I'm afraid. Are you okay. sitting down? Yeah, but you can't be sitting on a box. It's, it's, There's no way. We're not allowed any of that rubbish anymore. Can, can, you, move, can you move it a little bit further back? You can move it back. You can move it back in with the red bag if you want. It's fine, but I can't even sit on the box. have a chat. Yeah, he's the one you need to speak to. <laughs> Painful, isn't it? Mate, I've course. sat here for the last five yeah. years. Uh, well, this is new protocol, I'm afraid, mate. So you have to sit well, there. Since when? Because it hasn't been protocol this, so far this season. Right. Well, it is well, I'm just saying. Yeah. Right. Are you going to be on them like you're going to be on us, yeah? Good lad. Good lad. Despite their off-field existential crisis, Southend United have already smashed Oldham and beaten Dagenham and Redbridge away in their opening two games. Conversely, the Wanderers are sans points and a home victory is necessary to kickstart the season. And with Mark being stupidly superstitious, he thinks the GoPro in his office was bringing him bad luck. So we won't be seeing him again during this match. That's particularly disappointing because we would love to see his reaction to the way this one starts. Jack Bridge breaks down the left before rolling the ball softly across the Dorking penalty area. Yeah. Is he fucking joking there? Did he just fucking miss the ball? He left it in the middle. What? What? Bridge tears Dorking open before sliding the ball into Harry Cardwell, with Bobby Joe Taylor unable to cut it out. Cardwell gleefully converts the ball past Harrison Mayle to give Southend an instant lead. Yellow, 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 yellow. 
Give him that side seat. The coaches need to figure out who should be pressing who, and with Daniel Mooney dropping into pockets, that's making life more complicated. Maka. So that's the cross to the right, yeah, and, let, and then he's dropped right into the pocket. And we get Maka not jumping. Good, Josh. Good, Josh. Go, on, Briggsy, get on. Briggsy, go, on, Briggsy. Dawkins' heads dropped against Maidenhead, but this time they look driven to correct the score. Immediately after the goal, Dawkins gets on top. If only they could make the most of the long throws. Coach Khan is particularly disappointed as he works hard on the set plays and he'd dearly like to see one come off. The coaches didn't quite convince in Mark's absence on Saturday and today they clearly feel empowered to take charge. Still, they've got their work cut out. The visitors are beginning to impose themselves and with the Wanderers stuck in their own half, the comeback is feeling unlikely. Can't get close to them. Coming on, Dan! Oh, what's happening here? Boys! Josh has gone fucking higher. We need to get time. I know, yeah. We're fucking miles off. I know, yeah. Uh, Josh! A sustained spell of pressure eventually culminates with Oliver Coker taking a shot at goal. Josh! 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 Get on top, I need to get tighter! 28! I love you! Get on 28! Back up! Fucking manage it! That was an incredible moment of synchronisation. Three are coming in. The corner leads to a mess in the box and Harry Carbell turns the ball goalwards. Watson Dukes are tweaking the system in an effort to quell the South End attacks. In there, you almost absolutely need to assign Bob or Baz to just go and follow the 10. 100%? Yeah, and just assign Bob to do it. Yeah, well, I've done it, yeah. Yeah. Because then at least you leave Baz and Tall on the back line. South End have taken over, and at this rate, Dorking will be lucky to only be training by a single goal at half time. Outside, outside, outside. Bobby's in there now. Bad Keep him outside, outside and you get a press on there. Got to be in it. Oh, boys. A basic clip over the top from Harry Taylor gives Cardwell a glorious chance. But all it did was give Harrison Mail the chance to show exactly how good he is in one on one situations. Dorking have barely laid a glove on South End, who've yet to put a foot wrong. Go get tied off! Good ball! <laughs> as coach Dukes points out, the mistake comes as a result of Bobby Joe pressing Noor Hussein, whose back pass to the keeper falls short, allowing the Seagan Mega Drive to slot in for an equaliser. Bob! Bob! Bobby! Bobby! Brilliant! Tight! The equaliser is the last meaningful action of the half and Dorking go in on level terms despite their slow start. Roger! Can't deal with direct player. While a point would be better than a poke in the eye with a blunt stick, particularly against a side that's won two out of two, we're pretty sure the gaffer is watching in his office, thinking that a step up in quality and perhaps confidence could turn that single point into three. Briggsy hasn't quite got his eye in yet, but he's going to keep trying. It's all dorking now as the south end legs begin to tire. Oh, oh, Cheers, love that. 20 minutes into the second half, dorking launch a counter attack, and south end makes something of a mess of their attempts to defend it. Go on, Seeks! Go on, coming! Go on, Seth! That's fucking on goal, isn't it? It's fucking through. Is it not That's through? That's an absolute goal scoring chance. Is it not through? What? It's a fairly soft foul on Jason Pryor, but a foul nonetheless. So it's hard to fathom, given that there was no attempt to play the ball and he was the last man, as to why Ollie Kensdale has only seen a yellow card. We're pretty sure he was expecting to see red as much as the rest of us in attendance. Not a goal scoring opportunity. You don't get better. Organise it, Dan! That's 100% a goal scoring opportunity. 
How's that not a goal scoring opportunity? Fuck it, covering your fingers. How the fuck is that not a goal scoring opportunity? He don't know, he's reading his fucking notepad. Jason Pryor's free kick flies over the bar and South End start to bite back, knowing they're probably going to need a goal if they're going to get something out of this game. Well, he's stopped them running though. When they do that, you've got to get then someone has got to come out. Someone has to come out. So he's done his job, he showed you outside, and now someone needs to go and put pressure on it. James McShane's going to make way for BOA's mortal enemy Neil McManus, which seems like a mistake to us. In the meantime, Seb Bowerman's about to save the day in defence. Just, for, just no, for the, let's go, yeah. Just for the legs. Just for the, legs. Side. the hot dog is about to come on for Jason. With Dorking earning a free kick in the corner, Prime will have one last chance to affect the game. Hey. Finally! Finally! If the players were listening to Coach Carl's pre-match set-piece talk, they'll do three things here. Dan Gallagher will block Tony Craig's marker, Cooley will hit the back post, and Craig will put it back across for Jason Pryor. Oh, there's a fourth thing. Jason will need to put it in the back of the net. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Second ball! Yeah! Coach Carl rightly gets congratulated for his set piece plan, and Dorking know just as well as South End's bench does that should probably have been a foul. Dan Gallagher blocks the defence, which gives Tony Craig freedom to nod the ball back across goal, where a grateful Jason Pryor is able to nod it into the net and give Dorking their first lead of the season. Back, uh, Tony, Dave. No, that was, that was second contact. contact. Yeah, but it was Jay's finish. Huh? Was was finished? Finished? I think so. I told Tony to go back post. No, Tony came back to end about and then yes, Dan, Dan, Dan yeah. got The home side needs to defend, and unlike the last game, the bench are pulling the strings like a former England football captain's own production company and making a so called documentary about himself. Follow <laughs> Fuck off. Ever since his return from a long-term knee problem, Matt Briggs has been hampered by other injuries and he's about to have another hamstring issue. Oh, no, Briggs that can't is. happen, Briggo. Briggs oh, is Briggo's fat. Briggo's fat. Dino, Briggo's yeah. fat. What are we going to do? With all three subs used up, Dorking are going to need to see the game out with ten men and one of them is Niall McManus. And if you're really wondering why he's become our nemesis, he said I was fat. It's going to be a long five minutes. Azza! Down to ten men and in search of their first win, any dorking supporter inside Meadowbank and one particular guy one mile up the road will be feeling more nervous than a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. Oh, oh, oh. Get high, H! Good now. H is feet. Ah. Let's give it to them. give it to them. He's sent the midfielders have gone out. Ox! Yes, do it! Good one! Fuck no! Yes, What? I know. Josh! Josh! Stay central! Stay down, stay down, stay down!
for watching Bunch of Amateurs. If you would like to support us, then hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment. If you want to support us even further, join us on the YouTube memberships program. And in return, we'll give you extended episodes and behind the scenes stuff.